Welcome back. This is my weekly episode on NVIDIA. This is for those super investors of NVIDIA and want to keep up to date with the overall company. Here are some recent events that have happened in the past seven days. So let's take a closer look. I do want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video and make sure to check out fool.com slash Jose to get the top 10 stocks to buy right now. First, we can overall see in the past five days, the overall stock is up almost 10% sitting at $178. Now, a lot of investors are super excited with the overall kind of price action. Some investors are worried, hey, did we miss the bottom? Let me know in the comments below. Do you think it's all green from now or are we going to see a lot of these lows come back? We can see in the past year, unfortunately, Nvidia is still down roughly 23.6%. And from its kind of 52 week high, the stock is still down roughly 36 but from the overall bottom, we can see the stock is up over 59%. And I do believe this is the strength of dollar cost averaging. Sure, you might have bought a little bit here, but hey, if you bought a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here, things tend to look a lot better than what many might expect, right? So pretty interesting here with the overall price action. So let's take a closer look at some recent news on January 19th of 2023. Nvidia announced that they were rolling out their RTX 4080 Super Pod. So this is what I think is super amazing about Nvidia is not only do they create these hardwares, but they also give these hardwares a purpose even for themselves. So Nvidia has this GeForce network, which is used for cloud gaming. And we can see right now they are upgrading those super pods to their latest generation RTX 4080. They are kind of rolling them out in certain kind of data centers in San Jose, Los Angeles, Dallas, and even in Europe. So this is for their subscription model. Uh, they have, for example, the highest performance membership tier is only $1990 per month. This is great if you have maybe a weak computer or don't want to continue to upgrade, but want to play some of the AAA games. So Nvidia has numerous kind of subscription services, even for gamers. Great news. I do believe this is going to overall improve their solution in this market. Next, I want to take a closer look at kind of the consumer market here in NVIDIA. Some great reports here in videocards.com show the sales of a company called Mind Factory, which is one of the largest DU, DUIers in, for the PC market in Europe. Uh, I believe in Germany specifically, and we can see the RTX 4070 Ti seems to be a huge, huge contender, seems to be the number one seller at the third week of January. Number two comes in with GeForce RTX 3060. Obviously, demand is a lot weaker than it previously was, but it still shows that, hey, Nvidia is still one of the top high demanding cards compared to its competitor, right? And I, I want to say, Obviously, the market is pretty weak right now in the consumer space, but then being a number one leader there kind of gives you a little, I want to say positive on their technology and their products. All right. So next, we do have some rumors that the RTX 4060 Ti is expected to be released at the end of quarter one of this year. This is going to be a card expected to be less than $500. So it is going to be more consumer excited or at least at a more attractive consumer price point. Again, I do want to say there has been a lot of backlash with the overall pricing that NVIDIA has been doing with their cards lately, but I want to say there's not too much competition in the lower tier prices either. AMD with their previous cards are also sitting in the high 1000s, in the high 100s, I mean. Uh, so it's not like it's it's they're trying to fight competition with better price points. It seems like, hey, everybody's going with that similar price point at the moment. But a card under $500 might attract a lot more consumers. I do believe we are going to hear a lot of kind of negative feedback from gamers or from some other consumer players who tend to have maybe a louder voice or just kind of explain their, their feelings in the internet a lot more that, hey, these prices are still outrageous. But we'll see how the overall market reacts to it when they do release. Outside of that, let's kind of jump into the data center market. And before I take a closer look at this NVIDIA and Dell technology expansion, make sure to hit the thumbs up as it does help me grow my overall audience. If you want to support a little bit more, make sure to subscribe using my link at fool.com slash Jose. Finally, if you are interested in the semiconductor market, I have a weekly podcast on the semiconductor industry with another co-host. I'm actually releasing an earnings episode this week, and I'm also doing interview of other investors in the semiconductor market. So make sure to subscribe. The link should be down below, or you could probably click this link above as well. On January 17th, Dell Technology, which is a huge provider of server platforms and server computers, did release new 
platforms for their Dell Power Edge. And a lot of that is being powered by NVIDIA software. So we can see NVIDIA and Dell Technologies expand AI portfolio. Will NVIDIA AI stack now available on 15 new Dell Power Edge servers, helping enterprises to build and deploy AI workloads faster and more efficiently. So that is, again, another great thing about NVIDIA. Not only are they hitting it with the hardware market, not only are we seeing kind of that uh, subscription like we saw with their clouding in this, uh, market, but we are also seeing them in the software market and especially the enterprise market remember in the hardware market that for data sensors they have gpus they also have dpus and in the future they're also gonna have cpus the so great news in my opinion for the data center market i do believe this is a segment that might not grow too much quarter over quarter but year over year will still kind of maintain a nice growth for the overall company and a nice reason to be bullish at least for now things can obviously change so another topic i want to take a closer look at is a little bit more look on their consumer market in the gaming market for those not familiar nvidia actually produces the chip that goes on the nintendo switch and that nintendo switch chip hasn't been upgraded too much i do believe this is probably an old chip still on their platform and that platform and that hardware continues to sell at an amazing pace. And we can see from this overall report that Nintendo reportedly is beefing up their Switch production. That's obviously going to help NVIDIA one way or another with their system on chip revenue segment. So overall, we can see a lot of great news have happened for NVIDIA in the past seven days. So I hope you guys are enjoying this weekly episodes. Take care. Have a good day and see you next time.